Amen. Thank you, Lord. God is amazing. We serve an awesome God. Um, we serve a God that, that never changes, you know, and that, that is always there for us. Amen. Uh, you know, I was right as we were getting, as we were doing that song, I saw, um, I, I happened to glance up and I saw Carter walking by heading to the, to the youth group. And I thought, oh my goodness, that kid is growing up, going to be going into sixth grade this year. Man, these kids are getting older, right? Uh, the boys are graduating. I was talking to um, Gavin. Um, Gavin, for the, you guys don't, maybe not, not know him, Gavin Wren. I was talking to him yesterday at the fair. Um, we were hanging out a little bit, and uh, he's, he graduated this year, going into the nursing program out at UCC, um, doing great things. And um, I was just thinking, man, I remember when I coached him in, in flag football, you know, and, yeah. and all these kids have, have grown up and getting older. The boys are graduating this year. Carter's going into to sixth grade. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's crazy, um, you know, how, how fast everything goes, but, um, you know, cherish those moments that you have, right? Um, they just, they just, they, it just goes by so fast. And so, um, you know, what seems like it, what seems like it takes forever for us. Sometimes we, we, we got to understand that with, with God, it, it's just but a moment, you know, um, uh, Christy, I don't know how to turn off your messages on your iPad here, but they're kind of messing me up here. So, sorry, I don't know. Um, can you maybe tell her to hold off until after service? <laughs> her iPad's linked to her phone, and she's getting instant messages back there. <laughs> tell them if it isn't Jesus. <laughs> I keep getting a notification popping up here. And I'm like, who's, who's, why is Nicole trying to get a hold of me? I don't, I don't know this Nicole lady. <laughs> I don't want my nails done. <laughs> anyway, so, um, uh, back to what I was saying. So, um, you know, it, it, what seems like it, it takes forever for us. You know, we're like, oh, we're here forever. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll do it, you know another time I'll, I'll do it whenever but it's just it's just but a moment in god's time you know um i was talking to someone not too long ago kind of shifting gears here moving on a little bit uh talking to someone not too long ago about um a loved one that had passed away and um talking about how you know it, it's hard for us um here down on earth um still here you know it's hard for us but for them it, it's just but a moment you know they're like oh i'll, I'll see you in a minute you know i'll see you you know, in, in, a, in a couple of days, and, and for us, it feels like forever until we get to see him again, you know, but um, God's time is, is so uh, beyond our comprehension of how he works and how he does things, but, um, you know, it's crazy to see these kids growing up, um, cherish them, and enjoy them while we can, amen? Uh, they're such a blessing, even though sometimes they get on our nerves, and we just want to, you know... Uh, put a hand to their backside, but they are a blessing to us. Amen. Um, we just want to take a moment and say welcome to our Facebook uh, family that are joining us in live. Um, God bless you. Um, if you have a prayer request, hit us up in the chat. We have someone waiting right there uh, to, to pray with you and to um, encourage you and be a blessing uh, to you. Add their faith to yours and believe God for your miracle. Amen. Um, if you have your Bibles this morning, turn with me to Exodus chapter 33. Exodus chapter 33, you're going to want to hold your hand there. That is if you have a physical Bible. <laughs> hold your hand in that spot because we're going to be jumping around a little bit this morning, but we're going to be hanging out in Exodus chapter 33. Um, I'm going to be reading, I normally don't read very many uh, passages out of the NIV this morning, the uh, the New International Version, but I, I like how some of them read um, at, according to what I'm speaking on this morning. And so I'm going to read some out of the NIV this morning and uh, some out of the, the New Living Translation. But we're going to be in Exodus 33, uh, verses 14 through 20. The title of my message, Nick Marshall, if you're watching this, 
is the man that pleased God. That's the title of my message, is the man that pleased God. In Exodus chapter 33, verses 14 through 20, it reads like this. The Lord replied, my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Then Moses said to him, if your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. How will anyone know that you are pleased with me and with your people unless you go with us? What else will distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth? And the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing you have asked because I am pleased with you and know you by name. Then Moses said, Now show me your glory. And the Lord said, I will cause a... Give me that word, Christy. I will call, I'm sorry. I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you and I will proclaim my name the Lord in your presence. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But he said, you cannot see my face, for no one may see me and live. And so here uh, we see Moses is a man that pleased God. And so understand this, that we cannot please everyone. Amen. You cannot please everyone. If you try to win the approval of everyone in your life, you will be a miserable person. You will live in misery trying to please everybody. It's not physically possible to please everybody. It's just, it's not going to happen. You're going to make somebody upset. You're going to make, that's, that's why we don't really vote here in this church is because it's just, you know, it, it causes division and splits and people get upset and their feelings hurt. And so, you know, when, when we go to change the carpet color then or carpet and we, we decide to we'll go to pick a color, uh, it'll probably be Pastor Janet, myself, and Christy. And we'll say, okay, this is the color we want. Let's go. Yeah. Amen. And that's what we're going to do. And you're going to come in. You're going to be like, oh, that's a great color. Or you're going to be like, well, that's not the color I would have picked. <laughs> and then you're going to move on. But your feelings aren't going to be all hurt because we didn't take your opinion. Amen? And so you can't win the approval of everybody. It's just, it's not possible. You know, you're going to make somebody mad. You know, if you're a boss, you're going to make somebody mad. You know, if uh, it's just, it, it's the, the name of the game is the way it's going to be. And so trying to please everybody is actually a trap. It will cause you to miss God's purpose for your life. If you try to please everybody, you're going to miss the purpose of God in your life. Because you're so focused on, per, on pleasing everybody else, what about pleasing God? Yeah. Yeah. Amen? It will prevent you from growing in your faith as well. People pleasing is actually, in reality, if you want to think about it, and you want to take it this far, because in, 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 the, Western, in the Western world, we don't think of a lot of spiritual things. Like in, 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 in over in Africa, in a lot of third world countries, like they are very spiritual over there. Whether it be in the good or in the bad, they're very spiritual. Um, and, and they understand the spiritual realm a lot better than we do. We don't really talk about the spiritual realm a whole lot. I think we probably ought to and we probably need to start talking about it more because the spiritual realm is very active. Um, it's very present. Um, and it has a very huge impact on our lives. You know, what we open ourselves up to in the spiritual realm, um, whether it be good or bad, can really affect and change our lives. Amen? Amen. So, um, uh, so in, in reality, people-pleasing is a form of spiritual idolatry. Is what it is. Are we timing out? What happened? Hold on, this phone that's not recording like it's supposed to. Take five. 